We see hydrogen as a piece in a puzzle to solve the energy transition challenge from fossil source of energy to low carbon ones. And what is specifically interesting from the investor standpoint is that there is a range of different hydrogen applications across sectors, such as steel productions, transportation and electricity, for example. Therefore, you can invest in hydrogen technology across different industries, risk profiles and time horizon. Another attractive factor is that hydrogen represents a long-term trend. And that is the view taken by governments and regulators that support it. Overall, this diversity of opportunities in hydrogen means that they can fit different investor expectations. Yes, clearly, uh, recently we have seen several uh, announcements of assistance for hydrogen, including specifically the Green Deal and recovery uh, planning. Uh, by 2030, for example, in Europe, it means 40 gigawatt of new capacity, meaning in equivalence 40 new nuclear reactors. It means as well 10 million uh, tons of hydrogen production. And then it means electrolyzer manufacturing will also be supported by Europe through uh, uh, hydrogen alliance. European Union funds are expected to, to boost hydrogen production capabilities making green hydrogen a reality in Europe. It means, for example, an investment of 430 billion for Europe by 2030. This is important to close this gap with China. For example, China today uh, produces uh, around 20 million tons of hydrogen. So you see that even with this very large investment, the gap with China will remain in the future. Last but not least, it is very strategic project for Europe and US because uh, those countries uh, want uh, to avoid the situation we have today with the renewable energy or a large part of solar panels are built in China. So clearly Europe and US want to avoid this situation and produce hydrogen in their countries. It is always hard, if not impossible, to time investment. Hydrogen is not a silver bullet solution for energy transition and should only be viewed in combination with other solutions, including energy efficiency, circular economy and more renewables. As for risk, with hydrogen there is always risk to do with infrastructure. So far, production capacities for green hydrogen have remained low Starting from such a low base, this area looks very promising and it starts to expand. Another key risk is about economic competitiveness of hydrogen. Current costs are too high and they are pricing green hyd hydrogen out of the market. Its future will depend on the success of government support, new technology and the early investment of getting up to scale. So we are watching the evolution of costs carefully to see how competitive hydrogen can become in the near future. Lastly, there is also regulatory risk. Will the government push for green hydrogen continue? We do believe so, but there is always a risk that the government may need to reroute the resource to other priorities.